Ivan, The Remarkable True Story of the Shopping Mall Gorilla, written by Catherine Applegate and illustrated by G. Brian Cress. In leafy calm and gentle arms, a gorilla's life began. The baby was born in a tropical forest in Central Africa. He was part of a large family of Western lowland gorillas. The troop included babies, juveniles, females, and a male leader, the silverback. The more the baby gorilla grew, the more he played. The more he played, the more he learned. He rode on his mother's back. He listened to the hoots and grunts and chest beats of his father. He watched the older gorillas, clever and quick, as they wrestled and chased and swung from vines. He did not learn about humans until it was too late. Poachers with loud guns and cruel hands stole the little gorilla and another baby. After thousands of miles and endless days in a black, damp crate, at last came light and fresh air. The jungle green with life was gone. The gorilla had traveled halfway around the world to Tacoma, Washington. A man who owned a shopping mall had ordered and paid for them, like a couple of pizza, like a pair of shoes. People cooed and laughed and held the babies. They dressed them in human clothes and fed them human food. The shopping mall owner ran a Name the Babies contest. The winning names were Burma and Ivan. One dark day, soon after the babies arrived in their strange new world, Burma died. Without her, Ivan was all alone, with too much left to learn. While he was little, Ivan was cute and cuddly. For three years, he lived in a home like a human child. He slept in a bed and went to baseball games. He held babies and rode on a motorcycle. He had to learn many things gorillas in the wild don't ever need to know. The one thing Ivan didn't need to learn was how to eat. The more he ate, the more he grew. The more he grew, the less he could live a human life in a human house. A cage in the mall became Ivan's new home. There wasn't much to do. Sometimes Ivan watched TV. Sometimes he played with an old tire. Sometimes he finger painted, signing the papers with his thumbprint. Mostly, he watched the humans watching him. Ivan was about 13 when his coat began to shimmer with silvery white hairs. He'd grown into a silverback gorilla. In the jungle, he would have been ready to protect his family, but he had no family to protect. Year after year passed, people began to grow angry about Ivan's lonely life. Children and adults wrote letters and signed petitions and held protests. Ivan lived in his cage without the company of other gorillas for 27 years before he was sent on another journey. This time, the hands were gentle. Zoo Atlanta wasn't a jungle. It was a place with walls. Still, the breeze carried jungle sounds and scents. Scientists who understood the needs of gorillas helped Ivan adjust slowly, carefully, gently to his new life. Finally, it was time. Was Ivan ready? Cameras clicked. Reporters watched. When Ivan stepped onto the cool green grass, the sunlight gleaming on his silver hair, people cheered and laughed and wept with joy. Ivan, the shopping mall gorilla, was in a place with trees and grass and other gorillas at last. In leafy calm and gentle arms, a gorilla's life began again.